Okay, we're going to look at uh, calculating arc length of a sector of a circle. And we have our question written out here, so we're going to quickly read it over. It says, if sector B and D, that's two sectors, take up 75% of a circle, and the radius of the circle is 10 centimeters, well, what is the arc length of the sectors B and D together? Okay, so let's try to you know, uh, collate or synthesize this information, take out what's important. If sectors B and D take up 75%, so they're referring to two sectors, but they want them both in the end. So for all intents and purposes, this is really just a sector that we have to calculate, okay? It takes up 75% of the circle, and the radius is 10 centimeters. That's important. We want to know the arc lengths in the end. So it's always helpful to draw a diagram of what we've got. So I've got a, a little circle here. Um, let's go down a bit. Let's see if I can get a circle. Let me pretend each of these is two centimeters. So two, six, eight, ten. That's a really big circle, but I can move it down. Hey, there we go. Maybe a little too big. Um, that's fine. It takes up, um, so sectors B and D, we don't know how long each of them are, but we do know that they take up 75% uh, of the circle. So we're going to say about that um, of our circle. I should probably zoom out just a little. There we go. Um, okay, so it takes up 75% of our circle. So we could say, you know, that this is B and this is D. What's important is together they're that much, which is a significant portion of the circle, right? I'll do my best to get around there. There we go. So this is sectors B and D together. Um, we also know that the radius is 10 centimeters. So we'll say that the radius is 10 centimeters. Um, so what we need to do is, first of all, we're going to have to calculate, because they're talking about arc length, we want to calculate the entire circumference of the circle. And then once we've done that, we just take 75% of it, because we know that it's 75% of the entire circumference of the circle. So let's go back here and zoom in a bit again. Uh, circumference of a circle, the formula is that the circumference is equal to diameter multiplied by pi. Okay. We don't have diameter. We have sector D, but that's not diameter. We have radius. The radius is equal to 10 centimeters. We have another formula. This is helpful for a uh, relationship between diameter and radius. Diameter is equal to 2 times radius. So this works out really nice. I can actually uh, substitute this part of the formula in for the letter D. So we build a new circumference uh, formula. Circumference is equal to 2 times the radius times the constant pi. Great. Uh, what is our radius? Our radius is 10 centimeters, as stated there. So we're going to replace radius with 10. So circumference is equal to 2 times 10 times pi. So the circumference is equal to 20 pi. Um, it is in centimeters, so we're going to try to be a little more accurate here. I'm going to jump over to a scientific calculator, and we're going to say 10 times, do I have the constant pi anywhere? I do is equal to, beautiful, 31. I need to copy and paste this, probably can. Let's paste it in here. Hey, there's our very exact answer. It's better than me writing it out. Um, centimeters. Um, and because of this circumference, it is not squared. It's technically one dimensional, it's all the way around. But what's important to this is we now have to take this answer and because we stated before, that B and D add up to 75%, we'll zoom out again, they add up to 75% of the circle, we actually only need 75% of that. So, we'll zoom back again, whatever our circumference is, so we're gonna say um, the arc length of both sectors B and D together is equal to the circumference times 0 0.75. I took 75 as a percentage and divided by 100 to make it a decimal. So our circumference, uh, and we're obviously going to need more room because we had a very exact circumference. Our circumference was the answer we got down here. So we're going to put that in, and then we're going to multiply it by 75%. Well, it's saved over here very luckily, so I think I can take the answer from before. Great. And multiply by 0 0.075, and that seems... Oh, sorry, not 0 0.0, 0 0.75. There we go. The numbers seem far too low for a 75%. Excellent. So we knew our new arc length is 
I like this copying and pasting feature. Here we go. And we don't need to be that exact. So there we go. It is 23.56 centimeters approximately. Okay. Um, so there's your answer for calculating arc length of a circle, of a sector of a circle.